Thank you for tuning in into my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journal, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here. Hey YouTube friends, welcome back, glad you are here again. Welcome to a collaboration with uh, we are four artists, basically we do backgrounds which we then provide to each other in a digital form so each one of us can print it out. We do those backgrounds in somewhat seasonal colors and uh, then we are off to do whatever we want with those backgrounds. So every artist do their own thing. I was thinking today they I gonna use this one is from Marta from Mayola Art. That is my background, which was actually a pastel abstract. That is from Chelsea. And that is from Gina uh, Orange. So, that are the backgrounds I'm gonna use. And what I have planned, I have this leftover, it's a mixed media paper. And I thought I'm gonna make a sort of a mini book, uh, accordion style. The width is uh, three and a half, so I'm gonna score it at three and a half to make sort of a, as I said, an accordion style. I also have here some tea bags. I do have all kind of butterfly stamps and some flower stamps. I do use the Stason ink, which is a permanent ink. Any permanent ink would be okay. I do have over here my paper cutter. And I do have a little bit, a little bit of uh, ribbon. I'm gonna go come in later with my sewing machine because I want to sew the colorful papers rather than gluing them. Now, but now I'm starting with um, scoring my papers, my paper, and of course it's gonna be um, square again. You know I love square. Now I'm going to fold it along the scored lines. Let's grab a paper cutter and I'm going to cut that right off. Just like okay. Now I have a tendency to forget my ribbons when I want to close the book, so I'm going to do it right away. As I said, I'm going to go in with the sewing machine, so I don't need um, too much glue. So I'm only going to use the glue stick. Now I'm going to cut my papers in slightly smaller, the paper was as I said three and a half by three and a half, so I'm going to cut my decorative papers three by three. I just like borders. So I have one, two, three, four, five, ten pages I need to make and I want to mix up the colors a bit and I probably don't need all of those but I just want to pick and choose.
Now I have these tea bags here which I gotta tear in half. I rather want the tear edges than a straight line. And they're gonna go on top means I also have to get rid of the side here a little bit. Okay, usually you hear me say uh, it's not about perfection, I don't want a perfect impression. This time, because it is the focal point, I really want a perfect impression. So I have grabbed some fun foam pieces. Some people call it Eva sheet. And I do have all kinds of butterflies. And I'm not sure about the flowers. Maybe not. And certainly not the bee. Just butterflies. And I have one, two, three, four, five different butterflies. Oh, that's cool. Didn't know that. And uh, because it is a very transparent paper, I don't want, I mean, there is already black here, but still I try to protect it a little bit. So let's start with the first one. Okay, now I'm uh, going to attach that to the other side. Now I'm going to attach the papers just uh, somewhat in the middle. As I said, I'm gonna saw it anyway on the sewing machine, so it doesn't have to be completely all to the edges. And also for the tea bag, I'm gonna sew that too, so I add just a tiny bit of And I just figured out I have to make them a little bit smaller. I'm ready to start the sewing process. I have a black ordinary sewing thread, nothing fancy. I did glue down all the four sides from the tea bag with the tiniest bit of glue stick just so then they don't flop around and get uh, folded over while I'm sewing from the back side. Um, do a um, straight stitch on the largest setting I have, which is a number four here, and just start sewing.
I have planned to go around several times just because I can <laughs> because I like that messy look and then I hopefully catch the backside as well we'll see So I did start the sewing process, as you can see. Um, I go over several times and uh, the way, uh, because I go over several times, I'm sure I can catch the back side too. Okay, here we are with the, our little accordion book. What I don't like at the moment is that stark white against the papers and the tea bag. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grab some distress ink and gonna add a little bit color right away. And then I have decided for two colors. One is the mustard seed and one is the vintage photo. I need a scrap piece of paper. And I think I'm gonna start with the mustard seed. Yeah, I like it better. That stark white was a little bit too white. As usual, you will find a picture at the end of the video with the close up so you can see better the details and the colors. I like it much better now with a little bit of distress ink. I think it is cute. What do you think? And no, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it, but I like it. So here we are with the, our mini accordion book. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.